Hey everybody, I was recently at an event where I was sitting on bleachers for about two hours and um, it was quite a challenge on my back. I was doing all kinds of twists, intermission, I had to get up. You know what I mean. And if you live in a college town like I do, sitting on bleachers for an extended period of time, it does take its toll. But then I was also thinking about, wait a minute, we are doing a lot more sitting. My husband is working from home. My kids were online learning. We're doing a lot of sitting more than we ever have before. So these are five yoga poses. So a little mini sequence here, five poses that are great for when you have to be seated all day long. All right. You don't have to do this once a day. You can do this a couple times a day. So all you need is a yoga mat or a soft floor, something that you can just take a good five, 10 minutes out of your day and just stretch that back just a little bit. All right, let's get started. So first move, we are going to go into a tabletop position. This is our cat cow. Our knees are right underneath our hips. Hands are right underneath our shoulders. If we need a little extra cushion for our knees, Feel free to roll the mat back or double up the mat, put a towel underneath those knees. Whatever you gotta do to give you a little bit of uh, extra comfort, it's all good. So we wanna start out in this neutral position. That's where we're pulling that belly button in toward the spine. Back is nice and flat. We'll take an inhale here. And on our exhale, let's just round that spine. Oh yes, push away from the mat. And inhale. Let the belly relax, take a nice little arch, slight lift of the chin, very slight. Leading with that tailbone, let's take another round. Yes. And inhale. There it is. Exhale round, just a couple more. If you feel like your wrists are starting to get a little tender, you can always make hiss for wrists. That eases up on some of the pressure. Or I like Spider-Man hands, just like that. Let's do just one more. Always leading with that tailbone. Take that round. And then take that arch. Slight lift of the chin, yes. Let's finish up on a round. There we go. And we'll stay in this nice neutral position here. So second move is upward facing dog. So I want to show you three variations if upward facing dog is not quite for you. So option one, we walk our hands forward, take our feet all the way back, come all the way down onto the mat. So first thing is first, squeeze those glutes together because that takes a little tension out of that lower back. The hands are right underneath our shoulders. We're squeezing the glutes, legs are long, just a little, this is called a baby cobra. It's just a little lift here, we're squeezing. Yes, that's option one. Option two, find a sphinx. This is where the elbows, right underneath that sh those shoulders, but we wanna make sure that we're not just hanging out here and resting and turtling up with our neck into our shoulders. <laughs> Let's make sure that we're still keeping active, squeezing those glutes, pulling that belly away from the mat. And option three, if you're warm enough for upward facing dog, it's important to be warm enough for that. If you're warm enough for that upward facing dog, whew, there we go. Shoulders are pulled away from the ears, pressing the tops of the feet into the mat, pulling that belly button in. I'm going to hang out in Sphinx today. So you pick whatever pose works for you and we'll hang out there for a couple of breaths. <sighs> yes. You might see me wiggling my toes a little bit. It's because I, my toes decided that they were gonna cramp up right now as I'm recording this. <laughs> Oh yes, yeah. squeezing those glutes, pulling the belly button away. Make sure we're breathing. Making sure we're not sinking our neck into our shoulders. There we go. Let's do one more breath here. Nice. All right, from here, let's bring our hands back underneath our shoulders. We're going to make our way to standing and we'll pass through downward dog to get there. So hands are under the shoulders. Let's push ourselves up. 
tuck the toes under, send those hips to the sky, and let's walk those feet toward our hands. Hanging out in this fold, this is where we'll be. This is ragdoll. Knees are soft, there's a little bend in them. Just let that head hang. Oh yeah, swinging a little bit side to side. Feels really good on the spine. Maybe even cup the elbows and let the head just hang here. Shake our head no and yes. We acknowledge perhaps every exhale is taking us a little bit deeper into our fold. Our legs don't have to be locked into place. Our knees are soft. <sighs> yes, yes, yes. There we go. All right, let's take one more full breath here. We'll release those hands. Roll that spine up nice and slow because we were upside down for a while. So you take your time rolling that spine up one vertebrae at a time. We'll bring the hands all the way up toward the sky. Big stretch here. And we'll bring them on down to heart center. Nice. So the next move, we're going to make our way down onto the mat. So however you want to get there, let's get on down there. Legs are nice and long. We're sitting on our bottom. Let's extend one leg out. I'm extending my left leg out. And we'll take the right leg sitting up tall. So the right foot can be on the inside of that leg, or you can take it to the outside for a little bit further. We want to make sure that we're sitting up tall, but we're going for a twist. Gently holding on to that knee. And let's just go ahead, take this twist, looking over the right shoulder. Couple of breaths here. If you feel like you're kind of starting to crouch down or hunch over, then maybe we want to bring that foot back so we can find this place where we're sitting tall. There we go. And of course, I've mentioned this before um, in some of our other practices. Twists are not about contorting yourself and pushing yourself super, super far, especially if you have some type of um, a medical situation, whether you're pregnant or perhaps there's some type of core issue. You always want to be very, very careful with twists. So you know, always know everything is an option. Nothing is a requirement. All right, let's go ahead. Release on back. We'll switch sides. Extend that opposite leg. Bring the other leg in. That foot can be right on the inside of the knee, or if you want to go a little further, take it to the outside. Sitting up tall, find that twist. I'm going to bring my foot to the inside. That didn't quite feel right. Gently holding on to the knee. That's what I love about yoga. It's about making adjustments for your body. Whatever works. <sighs> yes. Sitting up tall here. Looking over that shoulder, just a couple of breaths. Nice, nice, nice. We'll take one more breath in and come on back. Yes. All right, let's swing our feet around to the side. Our final pose, very, very complicated, very, very complex. Such a challenging pose. It's called child's pose. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll swing our feet around. Yes. Send those hips back to our heels. Reach those arms nice and long. Child's pose. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Settle into it. Rest that forehead on the mat, or you can rest your forehead on your hands. Some people like to bring their hands behind them and let the shoulders just kind of drape over the knees. I love that. It feels so good. If you got to open up your knees for a little more room for your chest or tummy area, do it. Make the pose fit your body. Just a couple of breaths. 
What I love about these poses is that you can hang out with them as long as you can. If you want to pause and put on your own music and just do this on your own, it's not a full on sequence, but it's just a couple of great moves that everyone can do. It's so good as we continue to navigate this life sitting a lot more than we usually do. Let's go ahead, gently bring our hands back under our shoulders. We'll push ourselves up, make our way back to our bottom, finishing out, sitting up tall, crisscross, whatever position feels right for us. Inhale, lift those hands all the way up toward the sky. Exhale, push away. Yes. Inhale again. That torso is so long as we reach Exhale, push away. Last little bit here. Inhale, hands come all the way up and let's bring them down to heart center. <sighs> Thank you guys so much. I hope that you enjoyed these five poses to help you as you're sitting <laughs> and you incorporate them however you want into your daily life. Make sure that you check out alwaysontheflow.com and uh, pass this on to a friend. Just share the love. Namaste.